What is it like being the team leader of one of the top real estate teams here along the beautiful Florida Emerald Coast? Today, I'm gonna to go over all the things I've learned over the past several years that have helped me make the decisions I make in our business to help drive productivity as well as profitability into the next year. Hey, it's Mark here with the Hill Group, brokered by eXp Realty, and my team and I have you covered here along the beautiful Florida Emerald Coast from Pensacola all the way through Panama City. So I am what they call a default team leader. I built a team out of necessity. I was a single agent. I, was, I sold 135 houses in one year by myself with an assistant and a transaction coordinator. And at some point I realized I was losing business. I had people I could not keep up with all of the clients that we had. So it made sense for me to get, to start adding people, more agents to the team. And that was right as COVID took off. Not knowing what was gonna happen, all the ins and outs of COVID, like was the market gonna crash? We didn't know what was gonna happen. So it was a little bit risky. I was a little scared taking on this agent as we went into a market we weren't sure about. I remember specifically being in Costa Rica on spring break when COVID kind of happened and having to have a, a group Zoom call with my transaction coordinator and my assistant at the time saying, hey, like we may have to lay you off. Like, I don't know what's gonna happen. Like if we can't sell houses, what's gonna, what's the world gonna do? And ultimately we all know how it shook out here in Florida. We were busier than ever. So this team kind of evolved because of COVID. It was because it was out of necessity, not necessarily the want. But that evolved over time, right? Over time, I found that I love helping agents grow. We love building the team and helping agents get them on their feet. You know, we have, we've had agents that have left our team that have sold a couple, a hundred, hundred houses with us over a couple, couple year period. Now they're out on their own doing successful real estate transactions on their own. Nothing makes me happier than to have helped someone get started in this industry. And quite frankly, sometimes team leaders have a bad rap. You know, agents leave, they leave disgruntled thinking, oh, well, they took advantage of me and this, that, and the other. This is a relationship. It's a mutually beneficial relationship that we both agreed to. And guess what? Just like any relationship, they don't always last forever. Sometimes we have to take on reality and realize that we are no longer a fit for some people as things change, as the market evolves, as they grow. But we have had a very successful, and I believe a very beneficial onboarding program to get our agents fast forwarding their real estate career. Because we get them out there in the field as fast as we can, because I'm a firm believer that you can sit here and study this industry to death and never sell a house. People get caught up in, I don't know how to do it, I, I gotta learn, I gotta learn, I gotta. On the job training. If you don't have opportunities to go out there and be like working with the buyer or working with the seller, you're not on the right team or you're not at the right brokerage if you're not being provided some opportunities because that is the number one thing, the number one struggle that most agents have when they get into this industry is opportunity. Where are they gonna come from? So what happens is they get stuck in their brokerages onboarding for eons and eons. I, it almost happened to me. I had started in, in another brokerage. They had this program that was supposed to light your career. And after I got done with that, then there was another program and then another program. Next thing you know, it's like four months in and I haven't even talked to a buyer or seller. But I've got all these books that are so thick, I can't read any of them. Like, I had no real life way to even use the information I had because I didn't have the opportunities to actually go out and use it. I just had the textbook without like the real life experience of being able to put that stuff to work. So you, I needed to get out there and, and find business and have the opportunity and fake it till you make it. You know, what I did find out in those early couple years was most of my clients, I thought I had to know everything. Most of them, they didn't care if I didn't know, as long as I got them the answer. And that's what my superpower was. My superpower was finding them the information. And then guess what happened? 
The first time I got that information for buyer number A, or buyer A, it took me two hours to get. Well, guess what? Now I put it in my tool belt. Buyer B asked me the same question. <gasps> oh, it only took me five minutes to go pull the information up this time because I was getting better at my craft. I was putting it to action, putting it into daily use. Therefore, I could get better and hone in my skills better. Same thing goes with scripts, dialogues, appointments, you know, working with your client to get them to write an offer. Like all of those things get better the more at-bats you have. If you have no at-bats and you're sitting in the dugout all the time, no way to hit a home run sitting in the dugout. You gotta get out and put yourself in action in daily work to be able to get your career jump started. Hopefully this little rant, this little tidbit will help you in some way, shape or form. Send me a DM if you are not happy with your current brokerage or you are not happy with your current career or your paychecks that are coming in because our team has a system, we have a model, we have a proven process that will help our agents make an upwards of six plus figures their first couple years on our team as long as they are willing to put in the work.